We are Lemon Carport. I am Derek Thompson. This is... Rob Pyatt. I'm Dom. <laughs> John Robinson. The fifth. <laughs> Cream cheese and chips. Cream cheese and chips. Eat it. it. I'm gonna say uh, a hamburger. Mm -hmm. uh, vegetarian. Hamburger. Vegetarian hamburger. <laughs> you can pass the mic around. Uh, I could. I can. Yeah, we can just do it like an old. Oh, see. Let's do that. <laughs> you snitch. <laughs> You're wired, dude. What's your food, bro? I mean, I'm gonna have to go with with the burger thing, like he said. It's got everything. It's got the whole spread. So, uh, you know, he already said it, but I'm going with it. All right. So, tell us a little bit about your project origin story. Origin story. Uh, Talk louder. Well, that's your job. <laughs> origin story. No, that's that's an interesting one. Uh, I'd say mostly started with John. Uh, John came up with the name, like most of our first songs. Uh, and he kind of was already doing his own project and then one day i mean obviously over time him and rob were just jamming and then it's like well why are we just jamming when we could be like making something and then i i've been friends with them for years and so i just kind of globbed onto that i was really inspired by how they played music and how they kind of like came together when they played music like i didn't really do that anywhere else in my life and i saw the way that they could connect and i was like i have to be a part of that and then when we were at our first practice space, that's where we met Dom. And that's actually probably the funniest story because he played one practice and then at the very end of practice, he just like stops and he looks at all of us and he's like, all right guys, um, am I in the band? And we're like, uh, yeah, uh, all right, yeah, okay, dude, you're in, you're in yep. the band. Yeah. See you on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, it's been Tuesday, and Tuesday, Thursday ever since, yeah. That's basically it, yeah. It's been really basic, nothing crazy. We just bonded through music really much. What, two, two years now? Yeah, two years. About two years together. I heard a rumor it was your guys' first performance. Yeah, this was our first performance. This was my first performance on stage ever. Yeah, wild, dude. Thank you. You guys were really good. Thank you. Yeah, no, like, jaw dropped. What? That's great. Thank you. Yeah, that, well, that's, like, really what we needed, because we, like... I don't know, we spend a lot of time on this and we like are somewhere in between super excited and like this, if this doesn't work, what are we going to do? And I feel like this is a really good venue for like showing off your music in this scene because it's a lot of other musicians and people who are of like Sacramento DIY and underground scenes. And so if you can do good here, you can maybe build something elsewhere. And that's why I like coming here, um, and why I like seeing bands here, and why we needed to play here, I think. And for us, that was like everything. Like the moment we saw people start to dance, it was like, it was like everything, like all the worries, all the thoughts over the last two years kind of just went away. It was like, all right, this works. Like people get it, and if we keep doing this, it might mean something to them, you know? That was basically my next question: was what you guys, what you like, you guys liked about family vacation? Yeah, that's yeah, I love that. We, we yeah. came here last year. I, uh, one of my friends from the East Coast told me about Strawberry Girls. Next thing you know, they were playing here in like two weeks. We came and saw them, and I was like, saw the whole scene and everything. I was like, there's no way we we don't play here next yeah. year. We have to make. We that. literally looked at each other. We're like, we're playing this show next year, yeah. <laughs> and. Just on a cold call. I mean, it was kind of not, kind of not a cold call because we know the people in Subtlety. So luckily, Haley was like, had a little bit of an idea of what we'd be doing. But in general, she just gave us a shot. And that's why we liked this place last year. That's why we like this place. Like, I've never heard of a band called Boca de Rio, but like, they shall out, bro. Like, now, now I know mm -hmm. forever, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, and that's what I love about this place. It's that good mix of like, you'll get some mid-range good stuff here and there, like Kurt Travis is here with Gold Necklace, but like, you'll still see chances being given. And that's really rare in like, even in mid-level mid festival circuits and like low-level stuff, there's always like this idea that you have to find this big name draw and that there isn't already people in town that people love and that are like deserving. And I think she's really good about that. Um, and that's what this place represents, I think. That's 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 Lemon Carport for you and family vacation. Yeah. Enjoy your vacation. Yeah. <laughs>